Good morning, Quad Copter 101 here, and we are in Indian Wells Canyon today. And the reason I want to be flying Indian Wells Canyon today is um, it's been a while since I've flown some of my keepers. Some folks ask me, what are some of the keepers that you got? And yeah, there are some. This is one of them. This is my Scarlet Minivet, Wingsland Scarlet Minivet. Um, I actually like this quadcopter a lot. I don't like its FPV screen that comes with it, but if you've got other FPV screens, <laughs> this is an excellent quadcopter. So that's what we're going to do today. What I want to do is try some GPS flying, low altitude GPS flying. These are Joshua trees out here. And we're going to do low altitude run through the Joshua trees using FPV. I got my FPV goggles from my um, Ishin 180. I'm going to use these, those with this today to do such a thing. So hope you enjoy this flight. Let's go do it. Okay, I have the minivet. It's bound and it's ready to go. I have uh, I got seven satellites right now. I'll put it up for GPS lock. Let me double check that it's blue. It's all blue. I do have GPS lock. Again, I'm going to be using the Ishin 180 goggles today to fly this FPV. First off, let's get it in the air and put it in GPS mode and see how stable it is. Unlocking. And we're going to take off in standard mode. And also start the recorder. Now it is recording and sending it up right now. Recording the GPS. I want to see how stable it is right now in GPS mode. I'll put it on my goggles and here we go. And I'm pointing the camera down a bit too. Let's go downwind a bit. Again, I'm flying strictly GPS today. It's breezy as hell <laughs> is the reason. 41 meters, 53 meters away. My wife's keeping an eye on it for me, right, hon? <laughs> 80 meters away. And yeah, let's position it there for now. Still seven satellites. And turning it back toward me. There we are. Let's take it over to the road. Before we do that, we're oh, gotta put my antenna up. My antenna was pointed down on, on the roof of my uh, goggles here. Going over by the road. Going out over the gully here. Now this area is about to get full brim with wildflowers all over the place here. This is actually a really beautiful area to fly. Going up a bit too. Pull it up, pull it up, more throttle. Thanks, son. Eleven point four volts, still good for voltage. Eleven point eight volts. I don't want to go too fast around here, <laughs> especially on a windy day. So beautiful area to fly, huh, folks? <laughs> I like this on-screen display. Not going too far away. I'm bringing it back overhead again here. And what I'm going to do without now is uh, park it right about here. And turn it, give it a little more throttle, and I want to go up a bit. So 
I want to climb a bit. So give it a more throttle. Up we go. Again, that off of, that peak off at a distance there is Owen's Peak. I've flown it many times. Or not flown it. Tried to climb it many times, but unfortunately, <laughs> I never made it to the top. Okay, going back over here again and coming back down again. You know, when you fly FPV, folks, you really should have a observer observer with you. It helps immensely <laughs> keep an eye on what you're doing. You know, you're looking through two-dimensional goggles, and that's the problem, you know. You have no idea how high you really are. You got numbers that you're going by. But how you know, you can't really trust numbers alone. Here we are. You still got a lot of voltage here, eleven point six volts. Um, this thing is capable of really booking, going real fast. But the voltage drops, I noticed, when you do that, so that's why I'm not doing that today. You know, uh, you lose your voltage. And you lose your flight time. But if you can fly gently like this, like I'm doing, you got a heck of a lot of flight time like you see I'm getting here today. Your gunshots in the distance. It is season for uh, partridges up here. I, what do they call the local partridges? Chuckas or something, I think they're called the desert partridges. Three volts, still plenty of voltage. Point four volts, still plenty of voltage. Coming toward us. And one point two. bringing it back. You know, park it in front of us and land it. I'm not going to take it down below. I think you folks are getting bored. But you can see what this could do. So like I said, the Minivet, excellent quadcopter. Excellent camera quadcopter. Excellent GPS quadcopter. Let me park it right there and then I'm going to bring, take off these goggles here. I'm going to go back to visual flight. Okay, and there we are. Let's bring her down. Got a little bit of a breeze. And locking. And turning off the camera. <laughs> Remember to do that, folks. Camera is off. <laughs> it's good to fly in soft dirt and sand or grass, especially if you do, if that happens. Okay, it's locked and unplugging the transmitter, and we should be good to go. Turning off that transmitter, unplugging the quad copter, turning off the transmitter. So, all in all, that was a flight, a GPS flight of my Scarlet Minivet up here in Inuwells Canyon. Um, it was a nice day, nice day to fly. A little bit breezy there. I had a little bit of a problem there at the ending here in the wind. But all in all, it was a good flight. So I hope you enjoyed that flight. Let me hold it up better for the thumbnail. Quadcopter 101, signing out.